On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to fix and replace your broken, rattling and noisy bathroom exhaust fan motor, so stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you could always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. First thing you need to do is take out the cover plate of your bathroom exhaust. It's very important that you turn off the power from your breaker before working with any electrical. If you're uncomfortable, please hire a certified or professional electrician. Now to take off this version on mine, this is by Bro and Newton. Uh, it's an old ver older version that's pretty much standard, older houses, but this one, it was just pretty much a pressure fitted face plate that was attached with the motor. So if you have that version, I've seen some that you can pretty much just has attached with a screw as well. So make sure what type and brand that you have. But this one is the new tone. Now you can see that it's pretty much painted and has a lot of overspray from the past owner. I don't know who installed this, but they sprayed over the motor, which is a big no, no, you don't do that. And the Pretty much the fan itself has a lot of paint. The tool that I'm using here is just a fancy screwdriver with a hex bit. Again, feel free to use whatever tool you wish. This was just the one that, has, that was available. I know this one's pretty looking old school, but it's pretty much, it does the job. All you have to do is unscrew two bolts that's attached to the face plate. So what I'm doing here is just taking out these very two very long screws that is attached. So once you get that off, that's pretty much what's attaching the motor to the face plate get that out and pretty much just twist out that plastic fan on the other side and see how dirty that is let's compare it with the new one it's very identical except for the old one has these two holes on them this other one was it's pretty much a universal and if you look at the faceplate on this it's pretty much uh, sprayed over with overspray of paint and texture i'm not going to bother cleaning that but I am gonna wipe down the back. Now let's compare the two motors. The left side is the brand new one that I got from Amazon. It is a universal version and the right side is the old one that's been painted and textured over. You can probably figure out why it's making all that noise and it's not functioning correctly. The brand new one that I bought, for some reason, the manufacturer assembled it uh, in reverse. So if you get this type of problem, it's an easy fix. All you gotta do is unscrew it and make sure that you reverse the two plates. So the front goes to the back and the back goes to the front. It's that easy. I don't know if it's just this one that I bought, but if you come across this problem, it is a very easy fix. The reason for this that you need to switch it is because so that it can mount perfectly onto the face plate. All you gotta do is reverse it and then make sure after you reverse it, test it over and see how I insert it through that face plate. Those two prongs on each end should fit directly to the two holes on the face plate. Now just install back the two screws, very easy. And then after you do that, put it right against the face plate. See how nicely it flushes on the, on the ends right there on both ends. Take the two nuts that um, came with your motor. And after that's nicely tight and assembled and secured, take your plastic piece. It should fit perfectly onto the end of that motor and just slightly push it down and it should secure in place. Now, I don't recommend this part. I'm actually going to plug this into my outlet. Again, uh, don't do this. It's I'm just showing you for instructional purposes only that see how quiet it is now and it's working nicely before we actually plug it onto that main plug. Now, do not do this. This is just me showing you that it works perfectly, okay? Now, after you do that, pressure fit it back onto how you assembled it. Make sure it lines up perfectly. Again, if it's a screwed on version, some of them are, screw it back in. But this one, I just push it in and it's just a pressure fit type. Once that's done, plug it back in, turn on back the power on your circuit breaker and you see how it just nicely sucking in that piece of paper just so to test you guys and show you that we installed it correctly and that it is sucking um, air out of there. Once that's done, take your your uh, exhaust fan faceplate and just put it back in. Right, so now take a listen of the old sound of the old broken motor. All right, so now let's compare it to the new one. It still has that little drone sound on it, the little the drone regular exhaust fan mode. It's not the quiet type version. Again, this is a 20 plus year old fan. So yeah, for what it's worth, I think it's a great fix. So if you found this video helpful, please hit that big thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell. And I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you again on the next video, friends.